Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qala Allahu tebaraka ve teala inna anzalnahu fi leylatil qadr. Sadaqallahul azim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed the Qur'an in this night, which is the night of destiny, or the night of decree, or the night of power. Even the name seems to be, for translators, a mystery, and the essence of the thing a deeper mystery still. And this is as it should be, because the deeper things, the soul, the Qur'an, the divine nature, are all mysteries, wrapped in mysteries, and we are incapable of grasping them. لا تدركه الأبصار وهو يدرك الأبصار وهو اللطيف الخبير. In this night, which is the culmination of the fasting month, assuming tonight to be the Laylatul Qadr, and the ulama differ as to exactly when the Laylatul Qadr might be, but most of the ulama seem to converge on the idea that it's one of the odd-numbered nights of the last ten days of Ramadan. The Malikis say it could be theoretically any night of the year, but let's assume that this is the night where the hearts of the Ummah are most focused. We need to make dua and we need to experience the delight of the Qur'an. We need to understand the Qur'an as Ma'dabatullah, Allah's banquet, something on which we can feast, this extraordinary second iftar after the, the Aisha when we hear Qur'an and Qur'an and Qur'an and even if these days we can't get out to the mosque, still we should be listening. This should be a time of the Qur'an because it's the Shahr al-Qur'an, the month of the Qur'an. And the Qur'an, like the month, and like the author of the Qur'an, is a mystery. Ayatu haqqin min ar-Rahmani muhdathatun qadimatun sifatul mawsufi bil qidami. Verses of truth from the all-compassionate, renewed and yet uncreated. Their quality is as the quality of he who has no beginning. According to our Sunni doctrine, the Qur'an is kalamullah al-qadim, Allah's uncreated speech. In some amazing sense of always, it has always been there. And so when we hear the Qur'an, and when we recite the Qur'an, when we exhale the Qur'an, when we uh, experience the beauty of it, when we try and make our voices beautiful with the Qur'an, jamilu Qur'an bi aswatikum, beautify the Qur'an with your voices, uh, we are experiencing something that is not of this world, but is of the world of the beyond, transcendent, the place that is placeless. placeless. The believer does not just follow the meaning of the words of the text. The believer is connected through his or her heart to the author of the words of the text. This is part of the miracle of the Qur'an, that it is the divine speech. So the greatest opening that we can have on the Laylatul Qadr and in Ramadan generally and at all other times of the year, because these blessings can come at any time, is to be aware of the majesty of the divine speaker and to have a sense of the infinity and the eternity of the divine word so that the presence of the infinite is with us in this finite world, spreading a fragrance, opening our hearts, shining an extraordinary supernal light upon the little things that we do and making them noble. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant a good destiny for this ummah, to open the hearts of this ummah to the spirit of brotherhood, unity and forgiveness, to make us truly people of the Qur'an and to help us to taste something of the paradisal eternity that is present in the mystery of his uncreated speech. May Allah grant us this great gift and give us peace and blessings and success and qabool, insha'Allah, in the last few hours and days of this blessed month. Taqabal Allah siyamakum wa as'ada awqatakum wa iftarakum wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.